Hey guys, welcome back. What you're looking at is the Torah calendar, month number one, the month of Nisan. And the Hebrew calendar is based on the mathematical calculations of a 12th century mathematician that, that uh, he was Jewish and he was wanting uh, the holidays to be everybody to be on the same page. This is after the destruction of the uh, temple in AD 70 in Jerusalem. But the problem with the calendar, uh, the, the Hebrew calendar, is that it gets out of sync. And the rule of thumb is the first month starts after the first new moon after the spring equinox. And here is where we have a problem. This is the, it's showing the new moon of March the 15th, 14th, 15th. And, but then we have a problem that the spring equinox is uh, on the March the 19th it looks like and that is where we have a problem another uh problem that we have is that according to a uh, historian jewish historian josephus and let me get to this josephus was a ancient Jewish historian back in Jesus' time, and he wrote uh, how the Jews determined the month of Nisan. And in his writings, uh, in the research, he, he said that uh, the month of Nisan was when the sun was in Aries constellation, and it's the first moon, new moon, after the equinox. And this is where he confirms it. He's saying that the sun, the beginning of the Nisan, the sun is in Aries. And now, many people have asked, well, can the ancients determine the spring equinox. Well, if you go back in history uh, and look at the architecture, they're discovering that that architecture, a lot of the the pyramids that were built, the the structures that were built, were built specifically to determine the uh, equinox. And this is dating back five thousand years ago. And this is a picture of a. Uh, Chichen uh, a Mayan pyramid, and it is quite interesting that uh, they, they had built it in such a way, and thousands uh, gather around the pyramid to see the shadow crawl up exactly on the spring equinox. Another, uh, here's another temple dating back uh, 3,600 years, 3,600 B.C., Again, it was formed to determine the spring equinox. Uh, let's look at another one. Stonehenge. Uh, that's well over 5,000 years ago. And they're determining, and thousands gathered, thousands of people visit each year, each spring. And when the sun shines through, they, they mathematically determine that was designed to determine the spring equinox. And let's go on. Uh, another thing, too, is that uh, now th this is showing the date, March the 15th, which is the new moon date. And you notice that, that uh, the Josephus said that it's the first new moon after the equinox and the sun is in 
Aries constellation. And you notice here that that uh, the sun, the the month that uh, Torah calendar shows uh, as the first month, the sun is in uh, Pisces, and that means that you go the next month. And the next month, let's switch over there. The next month, okay, this is a true. Nissan one, the beginning. The new moon is uh, the 14th, April the 14th. And you notice that the sun and the moon is in Aries constellation. So that means that in all of our calculations, that means that the first month, is actually the second month on the Torah calendar. So this is the start of Nissan 1. And we'll be referring back to this all the time. And let's uh, see what our good friend Pastor Sandy Armstrong says about it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. See? So, can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, good deal. Was it kind of blog? You kind of, you couldn't hear it? Okay, so now, this is what we need to know and understand. Where are we now? That's what we want to know. This year... Um, is one of those strange years on the Hebrew calendar that they have to adjust their calendar to get back in line with what with the seasons, okay? And they could just do what the Bible says. There are actually four equinox or uh, uh, separate, uh, well, it's one word in Hebrew, equinox and summer solstice. They, so they have four of these that are in the Bible that is a structure of how to start a year and how the years are separated into four seasons. Okay, so there are four in the scriptures that tell you that this is the proper time. Now, this is the rule. They started Nissan first on March 14th on our calendar. Why did they do that? Because it was a new moon. So when it's a new moon, they start a new month. What's the rule? If the new moon lands before the equinox, you have to wait till the next new moon to start a month, right? So you just wait and then you have Nissan, okay? So here we have, we have, uh, it started Nissan first, but that was incorrect because the spring equinox didn't, didn't happen until March 20th, which means now they have to wait till the next new moon, and the next new moon was April 13th. So they should have waited till April 13th, then started Nissan first, and that would have been. Now, 14 days after that was Passover, which was April 26th, okay? Now, that April 26th happened, and that was Passover, but you can't start the count of the Omer until the day after the Sabbath, okay? So then, so now, the day after that Sabbath would have been May 2nd, so you start counting May 2nd, that 30 days, because there would be 31 days, but now you have 30 days, and 20 days of June, which would bring you to Pentecost, okay? So the evening of June 20th and 21st is actually Pentecost for this year, and, you know, behold, summer is near, right? So, in doing it the proper way, instead of waiting, like God's supposed to, like, I'm just going to wait till the end of the year and get back on and, and do it the way you guys do it. Mm. God says, I just stay within the structure. You wait till the end of the year and you add a whole new month 
so that you can now get back on course with what I'm doing. But God is not going to wait till the end of the month. He's going to do what he's, he says. I'm going to wait till the equinox. Then I'm going to start after the next new moon after that. And then I'll start my Nissan and Pentecost. And so we're on time with a Pentecost rapture. But the Pentecost rapture is according to the way the Bible said to structure the calendar and not the way um, they do it now, which is uh, their own wisdom. But there's a uh, so I, I want you to be aware of that because I think a lot of people were waiting like last week, like, oh, Pentecost is May or whatever or whatever it was. But I was looking at the seal, the same structure that the Bible says this is the way to count your calendar. So June 20th, 21st, we will look for Pentecost, and I will look for it to be our turn to be harvested. Because Okay, th this is kind of interesting. If we go back to the fig tree generation in Matthew 24, that uh, when Israel was once again set up as a nation, they were given a maximum of 80 years. This is known as the fig tree generation where one shall be taken and the other left. If Now, Israel was founded in May 14, 1948, and the definition of the uh, generation is found in uh, Psalm 90, verse 10. The days of our years are 70 years, and if by strength, uh, 80 years, uh, and after we soon fly away. So in other words, a biblical generation is 70 years to not greater than 80 years. In other words, everything must happen. The rapture, Armageddon, Jesus returned to set up his kingdom before Israel reaches 80 years on May 14th, uh, 2028. The end of the fig tree generation is when Israel turns 80 years. If we calculate the years, this is kind of Interesting calculation. If we take May 14th, 1948, add 80 years, it comes up to May 14th, 2028. Okay. If we subtract seven year tribulation, but we determine it as seven biblical years, which is 360 day years, uh, which is a total of 2,520, we come up with June the 20th, 2021. So, if the prophecy is correct, the rapture, the start of the Great Tribulation, and the beginning of the end will occur sometime during the month of June, 2021 but definitely before the end of summer. And, and there's kind of a scripture that goes with that in Jeremiah. Harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. You know, the best way to determine how they calculated Pentecost, the feast, is to see how they did it back in Jesus' time. And this is bombshell information that was discovered. Uh, it was discovered uh, among the Dead Sea Scrolls, a temple scroll. And in it, it describes the key feast and how they were to determined. And they list the feast here as follows. Uh, the Feast of New Grains, also known as the Feast of Weeks. And this is the 15th day of the third month. And this is what we are looking for as a high rapture date, the 15th day of the third month. And uh, this is... Uh, uh, in the Tipple Scrolls, it's known as the Feast of Weeks. And uh, then another one, 50 days after that, on the third day of the fifth month, 
is the Feast of New Wine. And scholars have said that this is Shavuot's, this one here, and this is really the true Pentecost, uh, the Feast of New Wine, which is the uh, third day of the fifth month. And it, it goes on. Uh, they're saying that uh, this is the Feast of New Grain or the Feast of Weeks, uh, the 15th day of the third month. That is the one that we traditionally call Pentecost. But really, the true Pentecost is the Feast of New Wine. And the reason for that is that uh, they, the mocking comments that that is found in Acts chapter 2 when when Peter is preaching to the crowd and the crowd is mocking him and said, oh, you guys must be drunk on new wine. Well, you know, scholars have said, well, if new wine isn't present, they wouldn't use it as an excuse to, to mock. So anyway, let, let's go back to our calendar here. So we said... The calendar is uh, one month off, so month two is actually in month one. So we're looking for the uh, 15th day of the third month, and that falls, so it actually be 15th day of the fourth month, and that is around and remember that uh, a day is actually two days because it begins the evening of the day before so the 15th day of the month is actually uh, June 26 so between June 25th and June 26 is actually uh, the feast of Shavuot, which is our traditional Pentecost. Another milestone that is coming up is that Israel declared Jerusalem in January, declared that Jer Jerusalem is the capital of the uh, of Israel in January of 1950. And we are coming up on we are coming up on the 70th completion. The 70th completion of the uh, is coming up this Sukkot. And let, let's get back to that prophecy. Okay. The Bible says in Jeremiah... 25 12 and Daniel 9 24 that when 70 sh Shavuot's or in other words Feast of Weeds are complete and it's complete with the start of the 71st true Shavuot which is again what was shown uh, June the 25th to 26 then the tribulation will start with the destruction of Babylon USA Revelation uh, 18 and Ezekiel 38, 39. Okay, in Jeremiah it says, and it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and, the, and that nation, saith the Lord, for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans. I will make it a perpetual desolation. Uh, in Daniel 9, 24, 70 weeks, in other words, it's translated as 
uh, Feast of Weeks or Shavuot are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and make an end of sin and to make a reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the Most High. And so this means that, okay, guys, you have a timeline of 70 years. Uh, when when the 70th Shavuot is complete, which it completes with the starting of the 71st, uh, then I will destroy Babylon. And there are excellent videos on why the United States is mystery Babylon that's described in Revelation 18. And watch those videos. Uh, Dana does an excellent job of uh, uh, pretty well spelling out that the United States is mystery Babylon to be destroyed within one hour of uh, destruction. There's another prophecy in play here, in, and that is Kaduri prophecy. And right now, uh, this is dated uh, June the 1st, uh, 2021. And right now, they, they are in the process for the fourth time of trying to form a uh, coalition of government, the government. And that falls right into play of the Kaduri prophecy. And let, let's kind of... Okay, what is the Kaduri prophecy? This was a prophecy that was given that uh, there would be a time when two ministers, both by uh, the name of Benjamin, uh, will be running for office and neither can establish a government and it goes on to say that that it will be rebuilt three times and before it can be rebuilt the government can be formed for the fourth time uh, and they are looking at that there should be a government form the fourth time uh, this June, by this June, the government should form that before it can be formed the fourth time, the Messiah will come. Very interesting. And again, all this information is found in the pinned uh, comment and in the Google document and the link to the Google document is in the description. Here's the link out there on the market link right there and is at also at the bottom of the pinned 